Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a lollipop chart. Now you may have seen these charts before where there is a horizontal line that goes all the way to an end and then at the end is just this big uh, circle and it looks like a lollipop and this one is a horizontal lollipop. Um, I've seen a couple instances where this is mentioned. Uh, George Camejo's in his book. Uh, Stephanie Evergreen had a blog uh, article about it. And the one that I found most instructive was one by uh, John Schwabish over on polyzvids.com. And uh, I can attribute uh, these instructions to him. And it's actually a pretty simple way to create something like this. So uh, this is kind of a, a neat little uh, visual representation of when you think about it, a bar chart. So uh, I had this on a uh, random number generator here. These sales are randomly gener generated. So you can see as it goes across, it looks kind of neat. But um, basically, uh, it just gives you a little bit more of a visual uh, difference or visual appeal to a bar chart. So let's see how we can go about creating something like this. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this range of data. I'm going to control C to copy, go into a new sheet here, and then control V to paste. Now what I need to do is I just need to turn this into a bar chart. So I've already got the range of data selected. I'm going to go under insert and I'm going to select a bar chart. And just a regular 2D bar chart. And it doesn't look like um, too much right here right now, right? Let me go ahead and just make it a little bit bigger. What I want to do is I want to put some error bars on each of these bar charts. So I'm going to click on here and go into uh, my chart elements here and go and select error bars. And once I select error bars, I select that. We've got our error bars here. It doesn't really look, look like much, but I need to do some configuration for some further adjustments to those. So with the error bars selected, I'm going to go ahead and click on the arrow here and go under more options. After that, I'm going to have some options to choose from. The direction I'm going to have is minus, right? If I, I click outside of that, you, you can see that the uh, the base here is at the bottom here. Let me go and click back into my error my error bar. Let me go ahead and click back into uh, this configuration panel here. And the end style, it's going to be no cap. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have the percentage 100%. So right now it's only 5% of that bar. I wanted to have this line span the whole thing, so I'm going to have it uh, 100%. Right? Let me go ahead and tab. Now you can see that it's expanded all the way down there. What I want to do now is create that lollipop. So let me go ahead and go under the fill in line. And under the fill in line, I'm going to go and select my um, cap type. I'm going to select my begin arrow type. And instead of having uh, that line, I'm going to select the oval arrow. So now I've got the oval arrow, and you can see that there's that beginning of it. And I want to have that be a little bit bigger. See, so if I click outside of it, you can see it's a little bit small. Let me go ahead and click back on the error bar here. And I'm going to have that a little bit bigger. So maybe, maybe I'll just select the biggest one here, size 9. Right now it's pretty big. So now I have, uh, let me click outside and you see that. Okay, let me select out here. Oh, we've got an end cap down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Go back into the series option. Uh, let me go ahead and select my... Uh, Select my error bar here because that was not the error bar navigation window. I want I want my end style to have no cap. So once it has no cap, that particular cap down there, that semicircle disappeared. So once I click on that, you can notice now we have our lollipops. And what I want to do is kind of get rid of the bars here. I want to get rid of the bars. So what I'm going to do is select the bar. And oh, now I'm in the uh, error bars. I want to select the bar itself. Let me go ahead and see if I can select it there. Yep, and I wanted to make sure that there is no color. So what I want to do is go under the fill, do a no fill there, and for the border, do a no line. And click outside, let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks, uh, I think I still have the line there. So let me go ahead and click on the border there. The border is no line. So that line should have disappeared now. And all I have now is my lollipops. And if I wanted to change it into a different color, instead of having this stark black, I can change that color in my arrow bar uh, configuration here. And maybe I'll change it to something kind of happy, like a, an orange. Right? So now I've got an orange color. Let me go ahead and get rid of uh, these grids. Pre press Delete. And there we have 
our lollipop chart. And if I can, and I have these, I think they're still uh, a random number generated between 10 and 100. And I can generate these random numbers. You can see it looks kind of neat. But of course, in most cases, probably don't have numbers that uh, are, are randomly generated. This just makes it kind of neat to look at when these bars go uh, move around a couple of times. But this is the way that you would create a lollipop chart, a horizontal lollipop chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.